And now for some homeopathic facts, otherwise known as alternative it's facts. Tough for me. I've been serving as Michelle Bachman's state chair over the last year. And why Michelle has fought tremendously for my conservative values. By conservative values, he means, of course, fascism. I believe we're at a turning point in this campaign. I believe that we have an opportunity to elect a conservative. A conservative was elected. His name? Barack Obama. Somebody that holds our values dear. Other than David Duke, of course, who did not pull very well. And when the Republican establishment is going to be coming against him over the next few days. By him, he means the Republican establishment candidate, Ron Paul. I thought it was my duty to come to his aid. What he meant by my duty will be revealed shortly. You know, it's, it's, it's difficult, but it's the right thing to do. When a pseudo-conservative says he's going to do the right thing, you know something is fishy. Ken Sorensen had reason to be confident walking into court Tuesday morning. Even the federal prosecutor was recommending the former state senator receive probation instead of prison. Sorensen had pleaded guilty to both charges related to the secret payments he accepted from three former Ron Paul campaign operatives in exchange for switching his endorsement to their candidate just days before the 2012 Republican caucus. Because, gosh, it was the right thing to do. But federal judge Robert Pratt called Sorensen's actions the very definition of political corruption and said a light sentence to a man who changes his political affiliation for money would enforce an opinion that politicians are available to the highest bidder. Which is, of course, an opinion and also a demonstrable fact. Before being sentenced to a year and three months, Sorensen told the judge as a senator in 2011 he was cocky and arrogant, but today he's humbled and broken and full of regret. And also $117,000 richer for switching his endorsement for money. I think based upon the government's recommendation that he was expecting something substantially less. By substantially less, of course, he means prison time, not payoffs. Uh, golly, I wish I was paid $7,800 a month, plus free food and free housing. Proving once again that crime, i.e. politics, still pays when you're caught.